Hello! Welcome back to History of Wine and the Vine. I'm Emily Kate. So this week we're going to do a bit of a spotlight on Louis Pasteur. And Louis Pasteur has been very, very um, pivotal in the industry. His discoveries really have shaped the industry as it is today. Um, if you are not familiar with him, he conducted some experiments and actually found out that fermentation is uh, caused by the growths of microorganisms and that these microorganisms aren't um, spontaneously generated, but they are a result of biogenesis. So he, in essence, he ran a couple of experiments um, where he limited the oxygen contact that um, specific wines had and specific kind of um, liquids had and saw kind of the um, microorganism growth and he was able to infer that um, the um, act of kind of wine turning is because of things found in air that it, wine doesn't just turn on its own if it's protected it won't spoil but if it's exposed to air it will he also um found out that the microorganism yeast was what was fermenting the wine so although these sound like crazy things to find out they were, and he did prove them, but there were a lot of precursors throughout history that I'd love to share with you today. Um, starting with, in 1810, um, somebody named Joseph Gay Lussac actually um, figured out that it was, that fermentation was sugars being converted into um, alcohol and carbon dioxide. And this is 1000% true. The only thing he didn't really understand was what the microorganism was that was doing this. So he knew what the process was, but he couldn't quite put his finger on yeast. So that's where Pasteur came in. Uh, but definitely Joseph Gay Lussac um, laid the groundwork, we'll say, for that one. Um, then next we have, we're going back further, um, to the Middle Ages. And in the Middle Ages in Germany, they were making a lot um, of really high quality wine because they don't have very high yields. The wine was very high in acid um, and they wanted to age it. And this really wasn't done in the Middle Ages. The Middle Ages was a time when vintage wine didn't exist. If you had a wine for a year, you tossed it out. You threw it out. You gave it to somebody who didn't have any wine at all. Um, it really wasn't done. And so this was one of the first wines um, to come out of the Middle Ages and say, no, aging is a good thing. You just have to do it properly. So what is properly? Well, what they did was, instead of taking barrels or barriques, these smaller um, kind of wooden crates, barrels, um, they took something called a ton. And a ton is just enormous, enormous barrel. Now why this is good is because the l amount of wine that's kind of touching or exposed to oxygen um, in this barrel is so small compared to um, the enormous quantity of wine that you have in the barrel anyway. So these tons just limited the oxygen contact. And by doing that, they were able to age the wine without it turning to vinegar. So this was kind of the precursor of recognizing that you needed an airtight, um, or as little air as you could have in contact with the wine in order to make it um, remain sound and not spoil. Now lastly, we go back even further to ancient Rome around the first century AD. Now we know of Galen and he was um, not only a wine connoisseur, he made wine, but it was his father who recognized and passed the information down to him um, that if you had a bad vintage, you could salvage the bad vintage and make sure that your wine didn't turn, turn to vinegar or spoil um, by heating it. So this is pasteurization just way back in the Roman time. Um, so I find this really interesting that they knew, I mean, they didn't exactly know that they were, you know, killing off bacteria and whatever, but they knew that they were saving um, their wine from spoiling in bad years by heating it. So I hope you found this as interesting as I do. I think this is ridiculously awesome, um, <laughs> if I don't say so myself. Um, and if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more lectures because there's always coming. Um, and I will see you next week. Cheers.